These are FACs, fast attack craft, which are spearheading the Sri Lankan Navy's fight against the Tamil Tigers' sea arm, the Sea Tigers. Capable of speeds of 40 knots or 70 kilometers per hour, they are loaded with weaponry, cannons, heavy machine guns, grenade launchers, an arsenal they need when dealing with a determined and cunning foe. These are the Sea Tigers in action, filmed by their own people during an attack. They move in formation, each taking a turn to strike, operating at fast speeds. Over the years, the Sea Tigers have evolved into a deadly fighting force. But since last August, the Sri Lankan Navy has claimed a number of successes, taking control of much of the area around its main naval base in Trincomalee. At present, we have additional uh, resources to counter them, but we are developing ourselves in acquisition of additional units as well as improving our capability. In the last year, they say they've sunk 10 Sea Tigers craft, inflicting, they claim, hundreds of casualties. But they have lost 114 men and a number of boats of their own. Their biggest threat, though, is from waterborne suicide bombers. The Sea Tigers suicide craft are almost impossible to detect. They're very dark, they're very low in the water, they can't be picked up by radar. The only way to find them is by heat detecting systems. But even then, they're travelling so fast, they're almost impossible to shoot. This action again was filmed by the guerrillas. Sea Tigers craft engaged the Navy, and then suddenly the boat is struck and holed by a suicide bomber. Within minutes, it sinks. The dead are left floating. For those who faced a suicide attack, it's an experience which stays for life. So when the attack boat hit us, if, we are, if our maneuverability is restricted, if it reduces our speed, then that's it, you're gone, because the suicide craft is going to come and ram on you. It's modelled on an American stealth bomber, but this is a suicide boat packed with explosives, and this, their latest development, a human torpedo contraption designed for suicide attacks. The Navy is desperate to cut off the Tamil Tiger supply lines from the sea, but in the east, for example, it covers 123,000 square kilometres of sea, almost impossible to patrol. They stage searches of fishing boats, but with 180 kilometres of coastline in this area, it's easy for Tiger supply boats to get through. The potential and the network and the sea transportation is something that the, the foreign countries organizations can prevent by way of controlling their finances, by way of uh, purchasing of items, and by way of boarding them into vessels. For the fishermen and the economy, this war has been a disaster. The once tranquil waters around this paradise island are regularly the scene of death and destruction. And before this conflict is resolved, many believe the final battle will be at sea. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Trincomalee, Sri Lanka.